Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of my 100% Borderlands 2 playthrough. I just did this on the first game, check that out if you haven't watched it already, and it was really fun, but this time I decided to up the ante just a little bit. Alright, this looks like a pretty nice spot to go ahead and say what I'm gonna do for this playthrough. So in order for this playthrough to be considered fully complete, I must do all of the following. The first is to get every Steam achievement. The second is to complete all missions on all three playthroughs. That's a total of 861 missions, and funny enough, that's only three short of being twice the amount of missions I did in my Borderlands 1 100%, and I'll be doing the missions in OP10 for UVHM, so I'll just do the main story and then I'll reset the playthrough and complete everything in OP10. Number three, I have to complete the entire badass challenge log, which is this thing right here. Gonna be a great time. There's many, many, many challenges, and I believe every zone in the game has its own specific challenges, so that'll make it even more fun to do. Number four, I have to discover all vault symbols in the game. Number five, I have to kill every single raid boss at OP10. Number six, I have to kill every unique enemy that can spawn in the game. Number seven, I have to collect every zero cosmetic in the game. Number eight, I have to get a pearlescent from the tiny Tina slots, which uh, God knows how long that'll take, but we're gonna do it. And here's where things get a little bit wild. Number nine, I have to collect every unique weapon and grenade mod and shield in the game. I'm not gonna do relics or class mods, but everything except relics and class mods, all uniques. Number 10, I have to collect every legendary weapon, grenade mod, and shield, just like the uniques. And finally, number 11, I have to collect at least one of every pearlescent, seraph, and effervescent in the game. A couple other rules, I'm not allowed to use my badass rank, which as you saw is disabled, and I have to start at level one, which I am. Sorry for standing still that long, hopefully there's some flashy cool stuff on screen to keep you occupied. As you saw, I didn't really get a chance to mention it since I was doing the intro, but I picked zero for this playthrough. I was originally thinking about picking Salvador or Maya. Maya would just be to continue my siren legacy. Also, we have a vault symbol right here, our first one of the playthrough. Not sure how I'll keep track of those, but I think I'll be able to somehow, some Way. Oh, Claptrap, that's where you're wrong, my friend. The, the most dangerous creature stands before you now. You're lucky Knuckle Dragger gets you before I do. You don't want to know what I might do to you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab the gun in the cabinet. This is a very special gun, not just any gun. The basic repeater is actually a unique weapon, so that's gonna be, I guess that's actually our second unique, because we have the skyrocket that we spawned with, plus the basic repeater pistol, so there we go. Two uniques. I'll show you guys my awesome spreadsheet I made. I hope you like it. It took me quite a long time to compile, so you better say nice things about it. But anyways, I've gotten very sidetracked. Okay, Claptrap, please just... Take a breather. All right, I think we're good now. I can talk. I was going to do Maya maybe to continue my Siren legacy because I did Lilith in Borderlands 1. And I was going to do Salvador just because he's the best character in the game by a mile. And he would make doing everything a little bit easier. But I thought doing Maya would be kind of boring because in Endgame, you don't really have a lot of options with Maya. Someone pointed that out to me in the comments. And then with Salvador, it's almost like I'm taking the easy way out, you know? Like I'm a little baby bitch or something like that. And I don't want to be considered a little baby bitch, you know what I mean? So I figured I'd go with Zero because Zero is a really solid character. In my opinion, he's probably the second best maybe Krieg would be second best in my opinion zero is probably the second best character so I went with him because I think he'll be pretty easy to clear all the content with obviously OP 10 raid bossing is never easy but I'll be able to manage our very first mobs of Borderlands 2 it feels good to be back on this game after playing Borderlands 1 exclusively for months the goals for this series are quite lofty I acknowledge that but I do think we'll be able to complete them all I hope it won't take an excessive amount of time the Borderlands 1 playthrough took about 32 episodes or so what I'm shooting for with this series is 60 episodes. I don't know how possible that'll be. I'll try to cram a bit more into them than I was with Borderlands 1, but who knows. Okay, Knuckle Dragger, our first boss. We're gonna get ourselves the Hornet right here, and we'll be able to mark off our first Legendary. Just you wait. It just occurred to me that I have no grenades. I completely forgot to fast travel and get early XP. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. After I kill Knuckle Dragger here, I'm gonna head back to the fast travel. Did we get the Hornet? I don't think we did. Revolver. Clap traps. I fast travel station. All right. Where do I want to go first? In a while, I gotta go to Digistruct Peak. That's right. That's the place. It's gonna be weird completing Digistruct Peak on all three playthroughs. But if I'm gonna complete every mission in the game, that's what I'll have to do. I've never actually done it on the normal mode or true Vault Hunter mode. I wonder how it's gonna be. All right. Grab the mission. Come on, grenades. Damn it. Button. Well, I thank you, Tannis. That means a lot coming from you. All right, and we got our grenades. Perfect. Oh, we got one grenade. God damn it. Turn that mission into Tannis. There we go. We've completed another mission, guys. Making progress, baby. A couple grenades is good enough to me. Now to the unassuming docks. I'm sure you've all seen Jolt Stu do this a bunch of times, but in case you haven't, you can come to the unassuming docks, do a little bit of cheesing, and get yourself some XP from the early missions. Oh my goodness, man. I wish the DLC just looked like this the whole time. I really do. It's fucking glorious. That's an amazing rainbow. I didn't even realize how awesome this rainbow is. Start shooting at you! 
Okay, the Skellymans are coming, but that doesn't mean anything. We just ignore them and keep running through the ocean, okay? And here's more. Now things will get a little bit dicey, but don't worry. I've done this a million times. I'll surely succeed. Okay, it's the dragon. Now we hide behind the boat. If you hide behind the boat, the dragon can't hurt you. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, no, fuck you. All right, we survived the dragon, but now we gotta survive the skeletons. Okay, Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Now we can actually kill Mr. Bony Pants Guy. We gotta take him over to a golem so we can get his ass Ragnarok, if you will. It's a rock golem, you know, kind of- Ooh, a gun. Sell that for some good money. Come on, little guy. And he's- he knows the- Oh, no, 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 rock golem, not me. There you go. He knows the mission. Bony Pants Guy, you fucking idiot. Okay, well. I guess I gotta do a little bit more hands-on work. Got another rock golem over here. And little bitch boy is gonna- No, no. Okay, well, of course, now that I'm down, he's aggroed on to me. Wow, he's, he's killing him fast. I wonder if he'll actually kill him before I die. That would be a miracle. <gasps> Come on. No. I wonder if it'll still happen when I'm dead. Oh, I spawned here. Perfect. It doesn't really matter too much then. It says go to Flame Rock Refuge now. Look at that. I told you it would work. I'm, I'm so good at that. You know, I never fuck it up. Hey, another gun. Here we go, sell that. Let me sell pretty much all this. We shall never see the sun again. Okay, man, chill, you know. You sound way too frantic for just standing there like that. If you're gonna worry that much, maybe get off your ass and do something. You ain't even gonna walk like at least she's going somewhere to presumably do... Oh, well, my bad, sir. It's good, Ellie. She looks kind of like I do in real life. Oh, for God's sake. Mr. Torg, could you help a brother out here? Sir, could you do something other than pose and scream? It doesn't look like he... Oh, oh, here he's doing it. Nope. Pose. Okay. Just gotta blow up these airships now. The skyrocket's probably the best way to do that. Luckily, I spawn next to this one over here. Yep, there it goes. Mr. Torg is pleased. If Mr. Torg's happy, I'm happy. Oh, there it goes. And we'll get the second one right here. Easy enough. This first mission here is a really long one, but once it's done, we can get a few side missions done in quick succession, get a couple levels, and we'll be out of this bitch. Uh, Walter White? Is that Michael Jackson? I'm cutting him off here. You got no chance, little man. No chance, little man. And we can finally turn a mission in. XP, XP. There we go. Oh, we actually got our first skill point from that, too. That's wonderful. That into our deception. Now we can finally go invisible. Coming back to the bar. I think Moxie's got a mission or two that we can do. Post Crumpocalypse. Yep, yeah, we can get the crumpets and critical fail. Um, I don't actually think we can do that one. Maybe we can, but I don't want to try doing all that. I just want to do the easy ones and get out of here. Ellen Shining Armor. This one's not too bad to do, but I, I just, once again, I don't want to do it right now. I gotta go all the way to the forest. It's a bit of a hassle. Torg. We can do this one. Fake Geek Guy. I didn't even know Dr. Zed had a building in here. Look at that. Can't even get into to it though it's just it's just a wooden door oh iridium look at that and skin we don't need but that's a lot of money we have a real easy one we can get right here just answer a riddle i've answered this riddle a thousand times over so it's no problem for me anymore the first time though i'll admit it was a bit tricky turn it in and we leveled up once more level six now where do i want to put my first skill point into i'd say with zero the best bet is to go for death mark and kunai first so i'll go with past hands the final crumpets there we go i'm an idiot we can't do this one or maybe we can but i don't want to do it we have to go to other maps just gotta dodge the firing squad to get to the first question no big deal here okay going in oh i've been hit fuck deception okay we're good i'm gonna top you i'm gonna top you i know you're out there we go give me that thing Fucking idiot. Oh yeah, you got it so bad, Lilith. You got god powers. Oh, boo-hoo. And the final question, there it is. Oh no. There you go, Mr. Tor. Give me my XP. And I'm not going to do that. Okay, level 7. That's pretty good. Put our skill point into fast hands. Say so we're pretty good right where we're at. Now I got to catch up to Claptrap and we'll keep going with the main story. Get our shotgun. Let's see. We got a one shot. Yeah, that's a one shot. Turn our mission into Claptrap. We play games like... What a fun creative guy Captain Flint is. Much better than his shitty relative Baron Flint. There we go. Liarsburg is secured. What a man. What a guy. What the hell is this? What is, what is that? There's a tube in there. This is bones. And then we got a little metal tube. Because there may be like a psycho living down there in this rib cage. He's got a little breathing tube. Who knows? At any rate, we finally have access to some side missions now that Claptrap's eye is repaired. Come on, there we go, Hammerlock. Get that one. Now we'll clear out the areas around here. Thankfully, the Skyrocket does immense work. 
All right, well, that was all of them. Our first shield, look at that. And we get an assault rifle. Now, if I were Jolt's dude, I might just read-only farm this so I could get a little rocket regen gun, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take what I can get, the woeful rifle. Now, we got a couple more, shielded favors and bad hair day. I'll do those too. I'm probably gonna knock out pretty much every side mission I come to as I come to it. I feel like that's the best strategy to get the side missions done without making it feel like too much of a grind because, I mean, theoretically, if I did just blow through the story and get to OP-10 and get really good gear, I could run through all these side missions super easy. I forgot to press the button on all the wrong with me. But I could run through all these super easy being way over level, but that would just be terrible. Doing all the side missions back to back on multiple playthroughs, just mindlessly one-shotting everything. That doesn't really sound like a great time to me, so I'd rather do it on level if I can. Not like we're gonna be on level for much of it anyways, because once we get to a certain point, we're gonna over-level. Handsome Jack here, gotta find Helena Pierce's audio logs. What a goddamn shame, man. This tragedy could have been avoided. Helena Pierce never should have died. It does sadden me how revolvers change from Borderlands 1 to Borderlands 2. I really enjoy in Borderlands 1 how revolvers are their own weapon class, and they're really, they have a different feel to them than any other gun in the game. I mean, I guess that's true for Borderlands 2 as well. They, go, they do feel different, but they don't feel that different, and there's certainly nothing special. The Maggie is the only remnants of the Mashers, but I suppose putting Mashers in the game might have been a bit, you know, not wise. They were a little bit strong. Come on, we got fucking white Aegises, man. This is just the stereotypical. Ooh, a TMP. I take it back. Now that is a gun. Yes, sir. Flat off pistols are always good. Flat off anything is always good, to be honest. Flat off just makes really good guns, except uh, maybe shotguns. I think I'll just go with this cut rate shield. I've got some stuff I want to sell as well. Throw on our better shield. Turn on the radio. Here we are at the Bullymon. You gotta weaken them. Everyone's done this mission a million times. I probably don't need to talk that much about it. And the final piece. Save. Quit. Okay. It's probably a good idea to read only farm for a decent sniper here, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, we got hammerlock. That's a, oh, a skin I don't have. Well, look at that. And now, uh, symbiosis, another side mission. You know, I, I don't know too much about snipers, but three fire rate, not that great, but it's, it's definitely serviceable. It'll work. I'm gonna move on to doing Midgemon now. Just finish this mission up. I think it's the only side mission actually that's in this place. I could be wrong about that though. Bandits are back, but so is our weapon stash. Hey, calm down guys. Yeah, quote unquote weapon stash. I'm good uh, on that. There's just an icy cave here and there's some bandits that live next to it. They're like, yeah, fuck it. Drag a couple of machines out here. I don't care what it takes. Clearly it took a, quite a bit, quite a bit of sacrifice to get these two machines here on a sled, but they did it, god damn it. Ooh, a shield. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, wow, really good shield. Let me put that on right now. Oh, stop it. No, fuck you. Oh, dodged it. Time for some real go. Never mind, I leveled up. Not just yet. Put that into fast hands. Headshots are so much easier to hit in Borderlands 2. I can't even really believe it right now. Sniping in Borderlands 1 is so much worse than in Borderlands 2 that I'm just kind of beside myself. Okay, I've had enough of these guys. Time for the main event. Midgemon! Sorry to do this to you, Midgemon, but the contraband skyrocket has words for you. Yep, uh, only took one. I thought it might take two, but it only took one. What is that? A bandit shotgun? You know, could be usable. No Kerblaster, though? Come on, man. I'm not gonna take the time to farm any of these early legendaries, even though we do need them. I'm just gonna wait till later in the game, because we're gonna play through the game at least three more times, so we'll have three more shots at them right now. Woeful Assassin of Vladoff Pistol. You know what I say about Vladoff Pistols? It's about the same as the one we have. I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I need to save quick. Okay, Hammerlock, Symbiosis, and we got another skin we needed. Wonderful. I didn't even realize we didn't have that for zero. There we go, two more skins. Not sure how I'll keep track of skins. I might have something on screen for them, like a spreadsheet. I might just, you know, look it up and uh, keep track of them separately, but I'll be keeping track of them, that's for sure. Well, to be fair, there's plenty of loot sitting there that you didn't give him. Oh, Handsome Jack, do I love you. I shouldn't even be saying Handsome Jack. Who's the voice actor for Handsome Jack? I don't know his name. I love him. I also love Handsome Jack, but you know, without the voice actor, there is no Handsome Jack. It's just Jack. Another Vladoff pistol. You need to calm down with these. Calm down. You know, I know I said they're good. We're not doing this shit again, like the double anarchy on Borderlands 1. What is that? This is just, they had this somewhere else too. I can't, it was at the, um, fuck, what's his name? Sir Reginald. When, they, when I, the dice, the, the dice, you know, the, the guy with the bug head, that guy. The guy that got diced, he had this hanging over his stall. Ugh. Steve the Lion. The Lion what? Steve the Lion Howler? Steve the Lion Hater? Steve the Lion Haver? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Ooh, a times two doll assault rifle. You know, that, that might work. Okay, got one skyrocket. And we got two skyrockets. 
And we're done. Fucking 14 damage assault rifle. That's terrible. What a fucking awesome villain base. Like, come on now. Baron Flint had a fucking big ass drill. Sure, you know, that was kind of cool. It was big and intimidating. He didn't have no flaming metal dragon on a ship stranded on a glacier. You know, he didn't have that. Come on, give me something good. I'm sick of just using that sniper. Shields. Level up, baby. Level nine. I'm going to spend that skill point right now. Another fast hands. And pistol. Doll pistol. Vlad off. Another TMP. Holy shit. Whatever. I'll take it. That's a good one. Don't know why I swapped it off for my sniper, though. I kind of want that. Clap trap. Help him out. Oh, they lived. Oh, I guess I, I can't kill him if I'm not here. There they go. You're damn right, gonna do the skip, jump right here onto the arrow, don't overshoot it, ooh, that was close, up here to this, right onto the chain, and I fell, gotta be careful, cause there's a little bit of a, something that'll block you there, there we go, jump up the chain, right up to here, come on, clap trap, don't get stuck on me now, there we go, now we gotta fight Baron Flint, okay, let's do this, Oh, he's coming! Fuck! Big boy got me. Nothing to it, just melt him down. No thunderball fist, what a nice guy. But we do have the tinderbox. Now that's another unique weapon we can mark off. I'll probably end up missing a few unique weapons or items as I do the playthrough, just because, you know, I'm so used to grabbing them and not doing anything, you know, just, just using them as normal items. So hopefully I can remember to mark them all down. If I do forget, I'll make sure I mark them off in a later episode. Now our spoils, what are we gonna get? Two Jacob's assault rifles, wow. All right, we've made it here. Now we can turn the mission into Claptrap. Move on to Three Horns of Divide. We're almost to Sanctuary. The game has almost begun. Here is the catch a ride. Who a nomad. Hello, my friend. I love nomads. Their voice lines are the best in all of Borderlands. Give me your damn loot. Leave us alone, you know. Just iconic. Isn't it Killer Six who says you just gotta hide behind fish? Yeah, he's full of shit. Doesn't do anything. There's what we came for the Hyperion Network Adapter. Now we can have a car. Bandity Smig. Well, well, what, what was that? Oh, a stalker. Okay, I thought there was a Hulk for a second. I don't know how good these are. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna give it a try. Same thing with the Smig. We'll swap out our weapons. Oh, this point of view is way different from Borderlands 1. This will take some getting used to. We're at Sanctuary. Hello, wall guy. Oh shit, the whole gang's coming out. Calm down now, calm down. Skyrocket. Oh yeah, Hollow Reese. I mean, Hollow Davis. Tell me what I must do. Oh, Three Horns Divide is such a nice place. Brings back so many good memories. Here's our Hollow Tape. Oh, band SMG is, uh, yeah, that's just, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna get the hell out of here before I embarrass myself anymore. Unfortunately, no Savage Lee yet. Would really like an unkempt Herald right about now. Tense Flinder, Tense Flinderbox, yes, Tense Flinderbox is quite the good gun. I'm gonna be doing all the bonus objectives for the missions as well. If I do miss one, it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna like disqualify the run or anything. Oh, there's a power cord. We got fucking lobbed grenade. Yeah, who doesn't want a lobbed? Oh, fuck. I don't think I'm gonna make it out of this one, guys. I think this will be our first death. Yep, well, that's not our first death, but first real death. Oh, we got the car stash. I love these. You can have really good loot out of these ones. A fucking another Vladoff pistol. What is going on? I'm good on all those. I'll take the upgraded TMP though. Alright, there's 20 blood shots. Thank goodness I'm a save quick. I just realized I didn't even name my character. What am I doing right now? As soon as we get into Sanctuary, I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna forget to do that, and we probably won't do it in the entire episode, but you heard it here first. I thought about doing it, and that's the thought that counts. And here we are, Sanctuary at last. Shield core in place. Now we can turn the mission in. Please give me a Hulk. Oh my god. I mean, I suppose this can be used to regenerate rockets, so it's not useless, but I mean, they're cucking me with these two. They really are. And now Jessup and I can stare at each other for about 30 seconds. Nice. In. Huh? Wait. Where did you come from? You, you just teleported in right here, didn't you? No, you can tell me. It's okay. Where'd you come from? Scooter. A legend in the flesh. Fuel cell one, fuel cell two. Assassinate the assassins, I'll pick that up on our way. Gonna need to do that one. Hey Earl, what do I wanna buy? I'm just gonna buy a backpack SD right now. Oh, we're being shot, thank goodness there's a shield here and there will always be a shield here and nothing will ever get through the shield. There's fuel cell three. Now, oh, picked up a gun. I can loot the Tannis room. There's actually a pretty good chance to get Iridium in here. I don't know why, I mean, I guess I do know why. It's because Tannis is in here and you know, she's a scientist lady. Didn't get any this time around, unfortunately. Anyways, turn the mission in. Now we can have three weapons at once. That's very 
very useful. Recorder, you know, I'll swap an echo for an echo. I'll put ours in there. Also a skill point. Need to spend that. Fast hands again. Now we've unlocked more. Gonna go around and get every single mission in Sanctuary now just so we can do them once we get to them. What a nice guy. Do no harm. Well, this one we can get done right now. All right, yep. Corner order. There's the Iridium. Titanus. Yes, of course. Talk to Claptrap here. Discover the secret stash. Definitely gonna use this a lot in the playthrough. And there is the stash. Such a useful feature. If only they did a remaster of the first Borderlands where they could have added something like this. That would have been very useful and good to have. Maybe an, an enhanced edition. They could call it an enhanced edition. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I don't think that would ever happen. Here we have Marcus attempting murder. All right, and the man is already gone. Presumably he died and was dragged away. Hey, Marcus, what you got for me? Rock, paper? Oh, yeah, okay, I gotta do the firing range. I forgot pretty much all these introductory missions. You just do them right here in Sanctuary. Burn Vandal. Oh, good thing I got the Flint Stender box handy. Turn in. Shock. Turn in. Turn it in. Turn it in. There we go. All right, done with that. If you want, you can hold on to any one of those weapons if you just don't turn the mission into. I think the slag pistol is actually pretty good because it has a, a higher chance to slag than normal weapons. But in normal mode, I'm not really too interested in slagging anything. Hammerlock, hello my friend. The name game, I love this mission so, so much. Boner farts. I mean, it's a classic, it really is. Last thing to do in Sanctuary is to talk to Tannis and turn in Zed's mission. Turn that in. And Zed has more missions now. Okay, two Zed. Medical mystery, all right. We gotta go kill Doc Mercy for that mission. And we have no more exclamation points in sanctuary that is until we come back and turn those in and then we've got 50 more i think right here is where i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode thank you so much for watching if you made it this far please consider liking and subscribing that would mean a lot to me gonna go over our progress so on today's episode there wasn't a whole lot since it's our first episode we couldn't really get into too much we got 20 missions completed no achievements got a couple unique weapons including the tinder box the basic repeater and the contraband skyrocket no legendaries unfortunately we weren't too lucky but next episode we're gonna farm the fastball and the herald right off the bat so that'll get us on the board at the very least i'm sure we completed a few badass challenges but i mean there's just yeah there's something there but nothing to really talk about now can't really think of anything else we've done this episode so i'm gonna say that's everything once again thank you so much for watching and i really hope i'll see you on the next one have a great day